yeah students now we will see the next topic in our uh, first unit concentric uh, circles method that is ellipse drawn with concentric circle methods so we have completed so far uh, these are all the topics geometric construction curves used in engineering practices conic uh, construction uh, of parabola hyperbola eccentricity method and also we have completed the the ellipse using eccentricity method now we will move on to next construction ellipse by concentric circle method uh, so far uh, we have not seen about concentric circle method now i will introduce uh, what is concentric circle and what is eccentric circle and uh, we will see how to construct an ellipse using this method concentric circle method quickly it is a very easy construction method we can uh, easily do it and uh, it will be very interesting uh, than the eccentricity method so next we will see the cycloid involutes of uh, square pentagon and circle and also we will see how to draw tangent and normal uh, for ellipse in this method concentric circle method so these are the concentric circles concentric circle is actually having the same center uh, the same center is used to draw number of circles and uh, the center point is only one single center point so with which with different radius or diameter we can draw different circles so that these are all the concentric circles so using same center each for each circle the center is the same so number of circles are drawn using the same center so these are all the constant concentric circles this is also concentric circle of uh, thickness you can see the variation in thickness and eccentric circle each circle is drawn with a unique center so from center to center uh, there will be a finite distance so that is called offset distance or we can have infinite distance also so here each circle is drawn with a different center so here uh, it is uh, this circle small circle is drawn with uh, this point as center with a little offset the second circle is drawn with a little more offset the third circle is drawn and uh, there is no single center for all these uh, uh, circles so each circle is drawn with a different center point so these are the uh, concentric and uh, eccentric circles so using this concentric circle method we will see how to construct an ellipse it is a very easier uh, construction method so ellipse by concentric circle method the problem statement is like this draw an ellipse by concentric circle method <clears throat> take major axis 100 mm and the minor axis 70 mm <clears throat> this uh, shortest distance uh, between the circumference of ellipse is known as minus minor uh, axis and the longest distance between circumference two circumferential points on a on an ellipse is known as major axis so here major axis is given as 100 mm and minor axis is 70 mm long so here uh, it is uh, possible to have major axis in a vertical way or a horizontal way so by default we used to take the major axis always horizontal but if it is mentioned mentioned in the question statement that the major axis is vertical then accordingly you have to orient the major axis and you have to start doing the ellipse <coughs> so uh, just one center as we know concentric circle method will have only one center so this is the center point for me now so the major axis is 100 uh, let us take this 100 mm horizontal and minor axis 70 we will take it as uh, a vertical distance so this is o i am notating center point as o now this is our major axis it is 100 mm as i mentioned earlier dimensioning you can do at the end of the problem uh, don't do right now for your reference i am doing uh, right now and this is the minor axis so this is 70 mm 
so for uh, both the lines the center point is same so uh, either uh, first you can draw a line right uh, you can uh, just uh, uh, bisect that with this line 70 mm line both way you can do or you mark a center and uh, this side you can measure 50 and this side you can measure 50 this side uh, on uh, upper side you can measure uh, 35 and uh, uh, on uh, the lower side you can measure 35 mm e either way you can do and this is 70 mm so this is major axis and this is minor axis of my ellipse so now to start with first using this center using the same center it is single center now with this single center i am going to draw two circles so first circle with 70 mm diameter and second center <clears throat> second circle with 100 mm diameter so these are the two circles drawn with a single center that is why these two circles are forming concentric circles here so this these are the two uh, circles now we will start constructing the ellipse to start the ellipse construction we have to divide the major axis so this is the major circle into 12 equal parts so to divide this it is as simple as i explained in the class you can uh, use you can use the radius of uh, the major axis so that is 50 mm this radius you can use and now you can draw you can just using drafter you can divide this into four equal parts now you have four equal parts one two three four four equal parts now with us with that radius the major uh, major axis radius this as center mark an arc on this and then this side also one more arc now this as center draw one arc and one more arc here so totally four arcs i have drawn with the four arcs itself i can divide the circle entire circle into 12 equal parts so i told you in the class how to practice that please practice that because this method is very very important everywhere we are going to divide our circle into 12 equal parts so if you divide into 12 equal parts you will get the fine curve whatever uh, the output curve you are intended to do that will be very fine if you divide into 8 equal parts that also you can do but you may not get a finer curve that you get when you use 12 equal parts so now i have divided this into 12 equal parts so only uh, four lines four lines so these four lines uh, will give me the 12 equal parts so this is one two three four five six and lower side also i have six more parts so totally 12 equal parts i am dividing this circle so once i divide and remember this is my major axis and this is my minor axis so now to parallel to this major axis from each point from on the minor circle from each point intersecting point on the minor circle draw horizontal lines horizontal lines towards major circle so here towards major circle draw horizontal line from here also draw horizontal line from here also draw horizontal line so from minor circle draw horizontal lines from major circle draw vertical lines so that is uh, the way you can remember so i am just giving notations uh, so i am just naming them up to uh, 10 parts so this is a and this is b right so these are the uh, now 12 parts and uh, I, I have notated them so i am notating this as c and this as d so these are my four points on half ellipse so already i got four points so remaining points i need to obtain here so to draw remaining points so from minor axis from, sorry from minor circle right i have drawn a line towards major circle so that way you can remember so parallel to major axis major axis from each point on the minor circle draw horizontal line towards major circle and vertical line towards towards the minor circle vertical line from major major circle vertical line from major circle in order to intersect this horizontal line 
so draw a horizontal line draw a vertical line and get this point intersecting point and name it so this is my p1 point number one similarly here I, I i have to draw i have to repeat the same procedure at every point so at two also i am drawing one horizontal line and one vertical line and i am getting p2 so p2 this is my p2 and here no need to draw so this is a and this is another point is c so in between i i have obtained a p1 as well as my p2 so in between a and c i got two points i got two points now if i join this three i will get the quarter ellipse the quarter elliptical elliptical curve so now i will repeat the same procedure in this quarter also one horizontal line from four when vertical line from here one horizontal line and this is my p4 so from five this is my horizontal line and this is my vertical line so now this is my p5 similarly here this side right similar way so vertical line horizontal line i will get my p6 horizontal line vertical line i will get my p7 so even if you extend further these are all thin lines there is no restriction for thin lines you can draw n number of thin lines these are known as construction lines only you can have n number of lines of any length no problem so you further you can draw it no problem and uh, the vertical line up to this horizontal line you can stop right there is no meaning in extending it further so this is my p7 and then uh, similarly i am repeating the uh, same procedure here and this is my p9 and from 10 horizontal line vertical line this will be my p10 p10 and this is this is a p1 p2 c p4 p5 b p6 p7 d p9 and p10 so if i join this i will get a very fine ellipse so this is another method to draw the ellipse so i am joining this from a to p1 p1 to p2 p2 to 3 or c uh, from c to p4 p4 to p5 p5 to b so this is my ellipse elliptical curve so just i am repeating on the lower side also so now i have obtained a very fine ellipse so to draw this ellipse again i can use either uh, a freehand method or i can use the french curve French curve will, curve will be very handy to draw this. So similar uh, fine curve you, you can obtain if you use French curve. So there ends my ellipse. The only uh, work I have to do here is I have to complete tangent and normal. So to do tangent and normal, it is not like earlier eccentricity method. It is the uh, a unique method you need to follow here. Now take the radius now take the radius take the radius of this major axis so here the radius is 50 obviously so that 50 with the c as center with the c as center draw an arc this side we will get the focus point so you know what is focus point we have seen earlier in earlier method also it is a fixed point it is known as fixed point so from c draw an arc on this a b line with the same c as center you can take either c or d no problem both will be same only so with the same radius radius is 50 here major major axis radius so from d or c you can cut one more arc this side one more arc this side right so this is you can name it as f1 on this side you can name it as f2 so now i have obtained my focus points so these points are also known as fixed points that we have seen in earlier method also so once you get this fixed points now i want to locate the tangent and normal for this point so i have located a point here so from for this point i need to draw a the tangent as well as normal it is very simple very simple to draw tangent and normal from this point you join with a thin line f1 as well as from this point you join f2 so both with thin lines only so uh, here also the ellipse is the object line 
that should be drawn with thin line thick line thick line remaining all lines should be thin lines only should be thin lines only so i have connected this point for which i wanted to draw tangent and normal to f1 as well as f2 with thin lines with thin lines now students you know how to bisect an angle right so now there is some angle between these two lines right so you know how to bisect this right so using that bisecting method right so first take any radius from this point cut two arcs on the line i have not drawn here but the same method whatever we have seen in geometrical construction topic the same method you can follow so with any radius you can cut two arcs so with the same radius whatever radius you take for uh, cutting one arc same radius should be used to draw the another arc so that as center you draw two more arcs with more radius whatever radius you have taken take more than that and just bisect and draw the two arcs you will be getting the bisector for this angle for this angle and draw a line to that draw the line through that right it is now this line is become will become the normal so now this line is the normal right so it is nothing but the bisector of this angle right bisector of this angle i hope all of you remember how to bisect an angle that we have seen in geometrical construction class and if you have doubts you can always approach me i i, I can teach you again so just bisect that and you will get the normal and it is simple uh, once you get normal so uh, in earlier method in eccentricity method we have obtained a tangent first and then normal uh, next right so first tangent we used to draw and then we are getting the normal we are drawing the 90 degree line and we are naming it naming that as normal whereas here we are bisecting this angle and we are obtaining the normal first and 90 degree to this line set the drafter at 90 degrees and draw the line draw the draw a line passing through this point passing through this point that will become your tangent that will become your tangent so this is the last step in this problem and uh, you can you can easily draw the tangent once you get the normal the next step will be the tangent it is obviously 90 degree line to the normal so there ends this method and uh, using this method we have only one object to draw that is ellipse and tangent and normal same method you have to follow in uh, some case you also practice this 100 mm as vertical and 70 mm as horizontal and then see the difference how your ellipse will look like and uh, draw that also and show me in your regular class so here uh, we will stop any doubts you can please approach me thank you